Planning all the things you need to do in life is no easy feat, and everyone likes to tackle their tasks a little differently. Notion is the only tool that lets you build your own task management setup and tinker with it as you go to find what's most effective for you. Your to-dos can be as simple as a checklist you jot down in a hurry, or a full-fledged system with all the bells and whistles. Regardless, Notion can help you get more done and make sure nothing slips through the cracks. In this video, I'll teach you how to build two different setups for your personal tasks, one on the simpler side and one that's more advanced so you can manage everything across work and life. This is the first version, which we will build from scratch. Here your tasks are neatly organized into columns. When they're done, you can check them off and archive them. This is ideal for simple tasks that don't require too much detail. Here's the second version, which we'll steal from the Notion template gallery. This is a database where every task is assigned its own page. There, you can store all kinds of additional information related to the task, as well as properties that will help you understand your tasks at a glance. This system is ideal for more robust tasks and projects. If you want to skip to the second version, just click on the timestamp below this video. Alrighty, let's get started. Here is a workspace. Let's add a new empty page to it. Click on the New Page button and give your page a name and an icon. You can find it here at the bottom of the sidebar. First, let's create headers to organize your tasks. Type the forward slash key, then heading, select the size you want, in this case H2, and write the name of the category you have in mind. You can also use markdown by typing the number key twice, followed by the spacebar for an H2 header. Let's add two more headers, which we'll call soon and later. A good way to visualize tasks is to create columns. To do this, use your header six dot icon as a handle and drag and drop it next to the first header. The blue lines are here to guide you. Great, you already have two columns created. Repeat the same action with the last header to create a third column. Of course, you can name these headers whatever you want to match how you want to manage your tasks. For example, Name your columns not started in progress completed, low, medium, or high priority, or create a different column for every day of the week. In this video though, we're gonna stick to today, soon, and later. If you go to the three dot menu at the top right of your page, you can turn the full width option on, which gives you more space for your text. You can also turn on small text if you prefer that style. And, Add dividers under each column by typing three hyphens in a row. The next step is to add checkboxes beneath each column. Hit the forward slash key, type to do, then enter. To add checkboxes faster, you can also type brackets facing each other. Type your tasks under each column, whatever comes to mind. To make sure you don't forget certain tasks, you can always add reminders to them. Type the at symbol, then remind, followed by the date and time when you want to be reminded. You'll be notified like this. If you use the desktop or mobile apps, you'll receive a push notification if Notion isn't open on your computer at the time of the reminder. Once your task is completed, just check it off. Which leaves us with the question, what do we do with completed tasks? Of course you can delete them if you want, but if you want to look back at all you've accomplished, you can create an archive page to store them. Place your cursor at the top of the page, hit forward slash, then type page and enter. Name your new page archive and add an icon if you wish. Your archive page is now created and sits at the top of your tasks page. Now you can use the six dot handle to drag your completed tasks and drop them into your archive page. Finally, just note that you can drag and drop your tasks at any time from column to column to move them through your process. That's all for this first version. Now you should have the tools to build a simple tasks page to your liking. Now let's tackle version two. To start, we'll use a pre-built template to speed things up, and then I'll show you how to build it from scratch. Click on templates in the sidebar, and select the task list template in the personal section. You can change the icon to something you like and edit the page title. 
Then hit Use this template. Here is your task board, which is also a database. Notion databases are special for a few reasons. First, they let you view your information in different ways. They also boast powerful features like filters, sorts, and customizable properties to help you better manage your tasks however you want. Also unique, every task on this board is actually a page of its own. Click on any task card to open it as a page and add all the information you want about the task inside. For example, you can add a checklist of things to do in order to sell your couch online, add a draft for Craigslist, and upload a photo. See how the photo of the couch appears on the board? Under Properties, we've chosen Page Content from the Card Preview menu. That lets you display whatever photo comes first on your page. At the top of any database page, you'll see the list of properties. Properties are pieces of information about each task. Notion lets you work with many different types of properties, like dates, people, single select menus, multi-select menus, numbers, text, and more. For now, the only existing property in this database is status, indicating where in your process each task is, to do, doing, or done. Let's add another one by clicking Add a Property. You'll be prompted to choose the type of property you want and give it a name. For example, you can add due dates to your tasks. Click on the empty section next to it, select the due date in the calendar, and you can even set a timely reminder for the task. Let's also add tags. Choose a select property, call it tags, and write down all the categories of tasks you would like to use for this database. In this case, let's leave it to three tags, school, work, and personal. Your tags are now created, and now you can select the tag that corresponds to this particular task. Finally, you may want to add a priority level. Repeat the same process, add a select property, and write down your priorities. In this case, low, medium, and high. And select the priority for the current task. Awesome! Now your database has four properties, status, due date, tags, and priority level. As you can see, your board currently groups tasks by their status. But you can also have your board group your tasks by their tags or their priority levels. It's really up to you. What's more, you can add another database view by clicking Add a View at the top left. If you select Calendar, you'll be able to immediately see your dates plotted on a calendar. Add as many database views as you want. You can also add filter views. For example, let's add a list view of this database. Great! All your tasks are now displayed in a list. If all you want to view is school tasks, you can click on the filter option at the top right, then add a filter, and say, tag is school. Rename your view as school tasks. And ta-da! Now this view only displays school tasks. You could create the same views for personal tasks and work tasks. Now you have five different views of the same database. You can switch seamlessly between your views at any time using the view menu. Your database is now ready to keep you organized every day. That's how to build your own system with a template. But let's step back to show you the early steps that would get you here from scratch. Create a new page like we did before and choose board from the menu. You can delete these three blank cards and rename the columns or create new ones to match the workflow you want. You can even change their colors like this. If you want, you can hide this no status column or any other column, like for instance, if you wanted to create one for archive tasks. To add new cards in each column, just click the plus sign at the top or new at the bottom. Now you can just take what we showed you above to add the properties you want, content inside each card and different views. Your task management system is personal to you and can include whatever features you want. This video taught you how to build two versions of a personal tasks page to help you easily organize your life. With these tools in mind, you should be able to navigate anything you need to do. Just remember that there are lots of other ways to display your tasks. 
The trick is to find the one that suits you best. And Notion helps you do exactly that.